<laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, we're, look who's here. We're back again. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're back again. And we wanted to talk to you about traveling with your dog. Because as you can see, we have our little Chicha here, who we've had for, well, she's three years old now. We got her in Mexico, so we had to get the papers to take her back to Canada, which wasn't a problem. And um, so because we are traveling here to Costa Rica, we obviously wanted to bring her with us. Yes. And if you think taking a pet with you is like, oh, let's take Fufu for a ride, you know, like, let's take Fufu to Costa Rica or well, Europe yeah. or... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, make sure that you check into all of the details before you go, because we found out some stuff that... <laughs> You find out the hard way. We didn't really know. No. You know, um, it, and so, but I mean, I, I booked her ticket and oh. it was like $150 US one Each way. Each way. Yes. Yeah. And uh, which, okay, well, you know, yeah. we got to bring her. So, foo foo. You know, <laughs> <Chicharone. Chicharone. laughs> And, you know, I'm glad we did because we were, you know, we've been away for her long enough that we couldn't leave her with somebody else. Mm -hmm. It's a big impose, in, imposition. You're right. And um, so, but when we came into Costa Rica, the man who uh, gave her the okay to go through said, you have to get a health certificate when you leave Costa Rica. Oh, well, that's okay. We had to do that when we left Mexico. We had to do that when we left Canada. So, you know. Right. Is that cool? Not a problem. No, we'll, no. not a problem. So... <laughs> I'm really glad that we looked into it like a week before we leave because it's not as easy a process as it was for us in Mexico or Canada. Yes. Yeah, with Canada, they gave her a total physical. I mean, thermometer, you know, taking her temperature, the whole the whole works, right? Oh, okay. Stamp, you can go. No problem, right? Yeah. yeah. Go to Mexico. The guy doesn't even look at the dog. He just stamp. <laughs> there you go, right? Well, he's like, oh, oh yeah, there's your dog. Yeah. yeah, this is cool. No problem. It's great. Yeah. Well, let's take her to Costa Rica. Yeah, all right. So when we get there, like she says, he took the he took her papers and said you had to get some from here, oh, right? So we had to get a health certificate when we were when we were going to leave the country. So I went to the vet on Monday. And the very friendly, really nice people, not a problem there. Um, but I, apparently, I, I didn't have a signature from one of the veterinarians in Canada, my veterinarian in Canada. And uh, so it was, it was a longer process to get it going. But finally, after waiting, I don't know, over an hour, maybe maybe two. At least an hour, because I sent the taxi driver. I said, I'm, we can't keep the taxi running yeah. the whole time. And he said it was just going to be 10 minutes. Just go in, boop, boop, just like in Mexico. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so anyways, we finally got the paper from my vet in all over in um, Canada, and... And so now all of those papers from the veterinarian here in Costa Rica goes to the government. Are you so kidding me? They've got to send the papers, the dog papers, to the government in Costa Rica to be, I guess, approved. I'm not really sure. And then they'll call me and I'll go back, hopefully before my flight, our flight, and pick up the, and pick up the papers. And to get the papers in the first place, she has to show her passport. Yeah. So when you go, take your passport with you. Always have all your documentations. Always have signatures from the veterinarian. Yep. Always have the paperwork clarifying that or stating that the dog has had all of the shots and the uh, heart and worm, tick, flea the and works. ticks, all of it. Make sure it's all there. <laughs> Even worms. Oh, and that cost how much? Well, it was a little more expensive than I had anticipated, that's for sure. For all of that, the examination and the paperwork, it was over $200 US, which is a lot for one little dog. Here, that one right there. Oh, but it's our pet. Oh, we yeah. love our little children. We love our little children. Yeah, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just beware that when you're taking your pet, 
uh, any place other than where you're normally used to going, <laughs> that there you might run into some issues. And and we're and, well, just like that, just like that. And there you go. But you know, and we're not even out of the country yet, so we're we're hoping that the paperwork and the documentation that we're hopefully going to get before we fly yeah. will be enough to bring her out of the country with us. Yeah. So that's. Uh, Thank God we didn't wait until it was closer to leaving. Right. Oh, man. So just a little heads up. We thought we'd share that with you. And um, I hope it's uh, given you some enlightenment to traveling with Fufu. Yeah. Because Think twice. <laughs> <laughs> they're cute and everything. And, you know, part of the family. And we love her dearly. But, hmm. Yes, a really good dog sitter. She costs more than our flights. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, anyways. Yeah. Well, le lesson learned. Lesson learned. And uh, check all that stuff out before you go, because it's worth it to know. Is it ever? It seems yeah. to be. Or, or bring cash. Bring cash. <laughs> you know, Lots that's the best thing. It. Lots of cash. Credit cards. Yeah. Whatever it takes. Because so. <laughs> it costs a lot eh, in Costa Rica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Adios. Adios. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.